This video shows how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a square matrix. Let A uh, be a square matrix of size n by n. And if lambda, a constant a value in R, is an eigenvalue of A, then there exists a non-zero vector x in Rn such that a times x equals lambda times x. Again, x is a vector, non-zero vectors in Rn. Lambda is a constant, a scalar in R, such that a times x equals lambda times x. The question is how to find lambda, how to find eigenvalues. Now, if we look at this equation number one from the definitions, and then if we move lambda x to the left side, we will have this equations ax minus lambda x equals zero. And we can factor x out, and then to have a minus lambda i as the matrix that multiply to x equals zero. At this point, you can see that since x is a non-zero vector, and x is also a solution of this homogeneous system, then we know that this matrix here, A minus lambda i, has to be a singular matrix. Therefore, the determinants of A minus lambda i has to be zero. So we know how to find lambda by finding the determinants of a minus lambda i, and then you can solve for the determinant equal to zero, and then solve for lambda. In addition, since we know that this x here is the solutions of this homogeneous system, then by the definition, x is in the no space of a minus lambda i. Okay. And then x is an arbitrary vector, then we can say that x is the basis of the no space of a minus lambda i. So now we know how to find eigenvalues lambda and also eigenvectors x that is associates with this eigenvalue lambda by Finding the basis of the no space of A minus lambda i once we know what is lambda. Let's look at an example. Um, we have a matrix A, a 3 by 3 matrix, and then we can find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A. So, first, we let lambda be an eigenvalues of A. And then we find the matrix A minus lambda i, which takes matrix A minus matrix lambda i to get this matrix here, is A minus lambda i. As you can notice that the matrix A minus lambda i is very similar to the matrix A, except the diagonal entries are subtract by lambda. So you have 4 minus lambda, 3 minus lambda, and 2 minus lambda here. Everywhere else stays the same. And then the next step is we want to find the determinants of a minus lambda i. We learn how to find the determinant of a minus lambda i. In this case, since the first column has two zero entries, so we use the first column to find the determinants, and the determinants of a minus lambda i is given by this formula. You take the first entry, multiply to the cofactors of a11, which is um, multiplied to negative 1 raised to 1 plus 1, multiplied to determinants of the remaining matrix of the minor, which is 3 minus lambda, 0, 6, and 2 minus lambda. And we know how to find the determinants of a 2 by 2 matrix using 
the formula which we find the products of this diagonal and we subtract the products of this diagonal. So then the determinants of for a minus lambda i is equal to 4 minus lambda i times 3 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda. And this polynomial functions is called the characteristics polynomial of the matrix A. And in order to solve for lambda, we set this characteristic polynomial equal to 0 to get lambda equals 4, 3, and 2. So we have three eigenvalues. A has three eigenvalues, which are 4, 3, and 2. Right. Once we have eigenvalues, we can find eigenvectors that associate with these values. First, if lambda equals 4, then we can find the matrix A minus 4i, which is this matrix. And then we can find that the no space of A minus 4i is a span of this one vector. So this vector is here. I call this x1 is an eigenvector that associates with the eigenvalues lambda equals 4. Similarly, if lambda equals 3, we come up with the matrix A minus 3i, and then we can find the no space of A minus 3i, which is the span of this vectors here. And again, I call this vectors x2 is a vector eigenvector that associates with the eigenvalues lambda equals 3. go to lambda equals 2. Again, we find a minus 2i. We find the no space of a minus 2i, which is the span of this vector 1, 0, 0. And x3, this vector is x3, is the eigenvectors that associate with the eigenvalues lambda equals 2. Now, we found three eigenvalues, 4, 3, 2, and we also found three eigenvectors that are associated with these three eigenvalues, which is this vector is negative 5 over 2, 0, 1, negative 37 over 6, 1 over 6, and 1, and the last eigenvector is 1, 0, 0. So back to the definitions of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. 4, 3, 2 are eigenvalues of A. X1, X2, X3 are eigenvectors of A that corresponding to 4, 3, 1. Then by the definitions, we have a system here as a system of matrix equations. Since A is a matrix, X is a vector, and 4 times X1 is also a vector. And how can we represent this matrix? I rewrite the matrix A. This is the matrix A multiplied to x1, x2, and x3 equals to x1, x2, and x3 multiplied to this diagonal matrix. And this diagonal matrix is a matrix whose diagonal entries are the eigenvalues that associate with this eigenvector. So 4 associated with this eigenvector, 3 associated with this eigenvector, and 2 associated with this, this eigenvector. And how can we rewrite 8? A can be rewritten as, just again, this is a matrix equations. How can you solve for A? You would multiply both sides of the equations to the inverse of this matrix. Okay. I multiply the left side to the inverse of this matrix to get rid of this matrix. And then if I multiplied the inverse of this matrix to the left, to the right side, I will get this matrix multiplications here. Since A equals this matrix multiplied to this diagonal matrix and multiplied to this matrix inverse. 
And what is this matrix actually? So this matrix is formed by eigenvectors that associates with this eigenvalues. Okay. And if I call this matrix is big X inverse and this matrix is a D matrix, is a diagonal matrix, and this matrix is actually just the matrix X. So we have A equals to X times D times X inverse. Okay. I can rewrite this system of matrix equations as A times X equals X times D. And then you can solve for A by multiplying both sides um, to the X inverse. So if a matrix A can be written in this form where D is a diagonal matrix is squeezed in the middle of the X and X inverse, then A is called um, a diagonalizable matrix. In other words, this A is diagonalizable. Again, A is a matrix multiplications of X, D, and X inverse. D is a diagonal matrix. X is a non-singular matrix. And in this case, we can form D using A's eigenvalues. We can form X using A eigenvectors. To summarize what we just did, so if a square matrix A, n by n, has n distinct eigenvalues from lambda 1, lambda 2 to lambda n, with corresponding eigenvectors x1, x2 to xn, then A is a diagonalizable by the definitions. And we can rewritten A as the matrix multiplications of three matrices. We have x, d, n times to x inverse. And again, d here is a diagonal matrix. X is a non-singular matrix. So what we're going to use with um, this properties of A as a diagonalizable matrix. One example of this properties is we want to find the power of A in a different way. For example, if you want to find A squared, so A squared equals to A times A. And if we rewrite A as x d x inverse multiply to x d x inverse, you can see that the middle parts here, x inverse times x, will be just i. And then you can combine these two together to have x d squared times x inverse. In general, if you want to raise a to the n power, power you can use x, d, and x inverse to find a to the n power as this formula. a to the n power equals x times d to the n power times x inverse. And again, d is a diagonal matrix. All right.